Yo! Yo, what do you guys know about water? You don't know about none. So basically, today we are going to be uh, learning how to... Oh my god. Today we're going to be learning how to... Today we're going to be learning... I'm going to show you a preview of what you're going to be learning today. three hours to learn um, from my video that you know those videos that are like sped up and they're like slow down if you don't understand I'm like bro I'm gonna slow down in 0.25 seconds because your shit be going so fast like I'm as much as you know what's going on more I'm not good but I went through the dedication so I can show you guys the simple way shut up okay I'm back Corvette, Corvette. Stop. <laughs> All right, so this tutorial is for, you know, you gotta know what you're doing a little bit in After Effects. Like, I'm not gonna tell you how to scale in, all right? If you don't know how to scale in on After Effects, motherfucker, go back to my other videos, all right? Because I teach you there. One of my videos just hit 200,000 views. Oh my God, I'm like famous. I'm just gonna go ahead and already put my audio and my video together and then I will start again so that I don't waste any more time. Right, so the first thing, honestly, I'm just gonna play it for you. So I just quickly masked that, you know, nothing special. Just, you know, here you go if you wanna look at it, honestly, like. You know, nothing, nothing too, just la 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 la, you know, sexy, period. Let's go to tools and then to go to type tool and then just type out your words. So I already, once again, click on it, double click L, here we are. And you know, I have where it starts. So all, okay. And you're just gonna wanna have these go throughout um, the entirety of the thing. And I'll tell you when I cut them off, okay. So all, here we go. Okay. So now we have all of these, right? I'm just gonna cut them off over here, just, you know. Okay. So here we go. I haven't done this in a while. So we're gonna be learning together, as we do every time, because I suck. <laughs> okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the 3D on. We're gonna arrange the text. We're gonna bring up the positioning, okay? And that's how we're gonna move. We're gonna go So let me explain a couple things to you really quickly. So let's just go back to the this, okay? So we have things called active camera views, okay? So when you're working with 3D, you can you can choose. You know, you can have these, you can have different views so you can see what's going on. So for example, you see how it's moving. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, beautiful. And we have, um, you know, left active and you can click on this one and you can be like, oh, I actually want to see it from custom view. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. So it's not that scary, you know, just, just relax. And or you can be like, oh, I want to have four views, cause I'm cool, like, okay, like, you know what I mean, so, anyways, <laughs> so we're gonna arrange this, and in the video, it goes, god, I can't see shit, go away, I was like, should I rewatch that video that I learned how to do this, and then I was like, nah, we'll just figure it out, <laughs> okay, so, here we go, we're gonna line it up in the middle, and we're actually gonna make that a bit bigger, because, yeah. I'm also gonna push this back a little bit more. Just back. Okay. So here we go. All. And then of your. Turn of your. Of your is gonna be a little bit. Oh. Okay. And I will be adjusting these things as 
we go along. Uh, so friends, here we go. Here's something interesting. We're actually gonna put this a little bit off the screen. So we're gonna go ahead and move it over here. Have been, I'm gonna actually make this across. So it's gonna have to go all the way across um, to, oh. You know, you can make these cuts right here. Um, where I did it. Yeah, you look it, you see it. All right, I don't have to show you anything else. Yeah. All right, so let me just continue arranging this. You're just gonna layer them so that they're higher than the other one. I know it's hard to see right now. Um, trust me, I'm not gonna pretend like I can see these things, but I'm just kind of like moving it up. We have it all set up. And I'm gonna put a drop shadow just so I can see what's going on. Where to go? I don't know, but since I don't want so many layers, I just, and oh my God, you're like, where'd they go? And I'm like sitting here and I'm like, right, you just click one button, I'm like, shh, chill out, it's okay. Okay, so now we're gonna go and we're gonna make a null object and we're also gonna make a camera. Yes, perfect, here's my camera setting, I don't even know what they mean. Okay, so we're just gonna have this camera layer and then we're gonna like duplicate this and we're just gonna go, you know, null, null, do, do, do. Okay, I'm gonna need more layers. So let me just actually just go like that. Just, um, literally, where is all? Where is it? Is it above it? No. The prophecy is true. Are you dumb? Oh my god! <laughs> We're just gonna like bring this down. Like, who said that you could be all the way up there, girl? Not me. I'm bringing it higher on it. Yeah, I am. I'm angry. I always mess up in my tutorials. I don't know how I manage. It's impressive. Okay, so the first transition we're gonna. <laughs> is we're gonna go ahead and zoom it in. Zoom it in. And now over here, we're just gonna zoom out. And we're gonna move up. Yes? Go to our speed graph and we're gonna move this all the way that way. We're also gonna turn motion tile on. Okay, so I'm actually gonna move this a bit back. And then for this one, we're gonna go ahead and go up and we're gonna take this position and put it kind of in the middle of this one. And right where it goes of your, we're gonna kinda of wanna zoom in on that. Bring it a bit up. No. <sighs> Sorry, on the, I was doing it on the wrong uh, layer. And then right when we have that, we're actually gonna move this. And this is where the whole technique comes in of the smooth motion. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna go ahead and try to get it like right where the thing is, where, where the time indicator is. We're just gonna kind of line it up like that. Okay. So now that it looks like that, Here's what it looks like now. Actually, I kind of want it more on all, so I'm gonna move this. No, sorry. And it's honestly just about adjusting, to be honest. So let's go back. So now we're gonna go up again, we're gonna go back to position and we're gonna go from here, 
to friends. Now remember, friends is over in this area. So we're gonna go ahead and zoom out. And once again, it is too high. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, oops, sorry, bring it down. Where are, where'd you go? They died from me, they did. So as you can see, my camera's here and friends is over here. So if I go back up to this and I move it, sorry, that's down. Move it to the side. We should see it. There it is. Wow. Oh, that's very small. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and adjust friends again. We're gonna make it a little bit more down. Okay. I hope I'm not confusing you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you guys need help with this, um, just you know, DM me. <laughs> I will answer. Okay, so now I'm just gonna get rid of that because I know where Friends is now. And I'm gonna go back to having one view so it's easier for me. Okay, so now, you know, it's not all the way where I want it. So once again, I'm gonna move it all the way down. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tilt Friends. Tilt the camera. So here we go. So here's when we're gonna use the camera at this point. So, oh my God. Actually, let me, yeah, let me just move this a bit. Before I do any of the graphing, I wanna make sure that I have it exactly where I want it to be. So here's that. And now with the camera, we're gonna go and we clicked R for you know the rotations and we're just gonna go from here. And we're gonna go here. Oops. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go back to friends and we're gonna see, okay, it's at four and 10. Okay, so get rid of that again. And we're gonna go back to the camera and we're gonna put it at four and we're gonna, best friend, come on. Okay, we're gonna move that at zero. We're gonna make sure that, make sure you keyframe it so that it doesn't stay like that. And we're gonna go to 10 and we're just gonna see what that looks like. There you go, there you go, okay. So now we tilted the camera. I'm also gonna move this back a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we're going to do the same thing we do as we do. because the peak of the graph is the fastest point. So that's where you want it to be, obviously the fastest. Um, so see, it's gonna shift once, every time you move it, it's gonna shift, the graph is gonna move. So you wanna make sure you adjust it every time you move a keyframe. Okay, so it's a bit far off. One thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure the camera goes back to normal. So now that we have this, Friends, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back to normal over here. And we're just gonna, you know, it's fine for me for now. Um, this whole thing is all about, um, honestly, just adjusting, adjusting everything. So it's gonna be time consuming, but I said this was for experts. So not really, you don't, you're not really an expert. I actually go back to four views because I fucking lost it. Okay, there it is. It's freaking. I overestimated how, I don't even know what I did. I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna name this layer have been just so I can keep track. Okay, so now we go here. Once again, put it a little bit there. And now we're looking for here. So I'm already anticipating that I will lose it. So I have the, I didn't turn the layer off yet. And now we're gonna go through all of the layers and we're just gonna And we're gonna delete here. Um, and then the last thing you're gonna wanna do is duplicate this, get rid of that, you know, null it, 
take this position from here and bring it, just drag it out. I'm just gonna cut these out because they get in the way. Oh, we don't need them right there. Two. Quicker. I fixed it, and by I fixed it, I mean I put motion blur, so it doesn't look as shitty. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Yes. So now that we have that, we're just gonna take it once again, take everything, and just hit them with the hit them with the copy and paste. Command C, Command V, come on now, come on now, yes. And that is it, my friends. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change the text and maybe um, the clip behind it. I'm just gonna put this in a different composition and open the composition, okay? So here it is. So basically you're gonna find this overlay, um, I'm not gonna link it in the description. Just look up Inkblot Overlay, okay? All right, thanks for that. Um, so basically I'm gonna timer map this and I'm gonna start it there. And the end is gonna be, I'm gonna open it all the way. Okay, so no particular, uh, you know, thing going on here. I'll just check that out. Okay, that's as, that's as good as it's getting. So basically we're just gonna go like this. Look, like, why are you doing this to me? Like, what the fuck did I do to you? Like, just get on the floor. Like, jeez. Oh my god. Like, I ain't got the time for this shit on this day right now. Alright, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna, like, meow. Oh my god, it's magic. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> I'm sad. Yeah, I said it. I'm fucking sad. <laughs> wow, that's ugly. <laughs> yeah, I think the main thing to take away from here, even if you are confused, 3D movement, you just want to make sure you have null layers and you have, um, you know, them going on. And you just want to um, go ahead and make sure that this, you know, is not like here and it's, um, they're stacked. Make sure to tag me if you try this. If you learn, I love seeing you guys edits, especially from my other editing tutorial. And when you recreate it, it's literally my favorite thing ever. And please let me know if you want any other editing tutorials, what you want me to teach you, if there's an effect, if there are some things, let me know in the comments. Follow me on TikTok, I'm Miss for Sasuke. Follow me on Instagram, Emily.dre. Mm, Twitter, Emily87. I don't really use Twitter that much, but you know. I have an EP coming in February. Um, you know, stay tuned for that. And I have merch. Follow my editing Instagram, Basement Presents. My merch Instagram, Basement Presents Merch. My audio Instagram, Basement audio. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry this was a pain in the ass, but well, you came to an Emily Dre tutorial, so what'd you expect? <laughs>